Hey there, everybody. It's Tygtar here, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Hardcore. So I made a character here. We'll make a world, a brand new hardcore world. The not the Knoll of Hellstone. Cool, cool. I'll take it. Got to go large, and we're going on master here. It's the only way to play. So I thought it would be cool to start like an actual series and try to do um, hardcore and focus it on building actually even though it's hardcore run a lot of like very rarely do hardcore terraria um players spend much time building a uh, base or different houses or different different little uh, aesthetic things because you'll it, it's usually about grinding the enemies and stuff as quick as you can and as efficiently as you can but i thought it'd be cool to try to go a little bit slower try to do some actual building in this in this one and i will have to be extra slow and careful though and see if i can do it without dying which would be pretty nice my end goal for the for the character i think will be to obtain a universal pylon so that would entail uh, uh completing the bestiary to a hundred percent and um coming across all different enemies and critters and everything in the game so that would be really cool if i could do that but it will take quite some time so we'll see uh see how it goes here but i'm pretty excited it's always fun uh starting a new terraria world see now i need to find it let's go and see what we got we got regular tools and weapons we got iron there Got some nice trees here. The sun is shining bright. Birds flutter away. Ah, yes, the smell of uh, smell of birds and the sound of the trees on this fresh start. Got to get those a uh, couple of slime kills right early off to get some gel. Usually, you can do it with the help of the guide while you chop the first tree or two. Replant the acorns. Sustainability is key. One of the most frustrating things about starting for me is not having the bug net and finding these cool critters and not being able to do anything about it. <laughs> Except kill them with my pickaxe as I ignore them. I'm pretty sure that guy won't jump down that hole, but just in case, I'll, uh, I'll step aside. <laughs> these are really cool, actually, the new 1.4 large ore vein generations that you can find on the surface really help to accelerate the beginning stages of the game a little bit okay there we go I managed to get it all mined out here it took quite a bit um, but I did get actually kind of a lot of iron out of it I'm up to 140 ore already, and so it kind of makes me want to actually snag this um, patch over here and see just how, uh, oops, just how much I can get before even, like, going anywhere. Actually, oh, shoot. Oh, my. Good thing I had a mushroom on me to eat. I think I'm going to go find some different stone. <laughs> As I was talking earlier about slimes jumping down holes, it can be not good. He's coming after me still. All right, I got barely enough stone for the furnace, so I'll just I'll just leave it at that and start running again. And of course, there's a vulture too. I actually could be in a spot of trouble here. Luckily, the new short swords can poke upwards, and you can actually fight vultures with them. Although it's still pretty scary. As you can see, I'm barely keeping him away. That was definitely kind of scary. That's actually the first time I fought a vulture like that. I always just use blocks and de uh, build myself a little hut. Or not hut, but a hole in the ground so that he can't hit me. Instead of relying on my short sword to hit him. I think I'm going to do it the safe way this time. With the slime not jump down my little hole here we go so i just dig a little hole that i can jump down and then put one block above i leave oh wow another vulture so i'm i'm glad i did this actually 
You can't actually hit them with the short sword like this. Oh wait, no, maybe you can if you get the angle right. But you can easily hit them with the pickaxe and they can't get to you, so it works out pretty well. However, it also is getting kind of late in the day already and I haven't found any surface caves, so could be interesting. And there we go. Moving along and only to find two more vultures. Nice. Okay, no more vultures, please. It's actually a pretty good sized desert. Um, I'm actually gonna use some platforms here. Since I don't have any rope yet. Oh shoot, can I, oh there we go. You can, you can jump up uh, seven blocks onto a platform if you hold up at the same time so that your character um, makes the last step up even though you can't actually jump that high. Well, it might be a long night. I'm gonna go over this way and see if I can get down that, that hole over there. Okay, okay. Head towards the blink root. Blink root shall guide us. Jump the gap, use the cobwebs to get our hair stuck on. Okay, good, I finally have some rope. And actually, while I think, while I just uh, realized I have that furnace on me, may as well finish crafting these iron bars that started with a while ago. Exactly 50, is that, oh, need an anvil, but I still don't think it's quite enough for an actual full set. No, it's not. Need 60 for the full set. Probably not worry about putting a bucket on our head. But the pickaxe upgrade is quite nice. Actually, I can uh, I can at least, f oops, keep, I can at least misclick the crafting button. I can fill out the rest of our suit with cactus. Is that a diamond here or sapphire? Those are diamonds, wow. Quick diamonds, let's go. Can still explore down here a bit though. Bit more iron. Maybe I can convince this red slime to jump off the edge. This is a risky business. Oh shoot. You gotta keep moving. But also um not die to the slime. Where am I? Okay, I'm in the corner here. I, uh, that was a bit scary actually, falling into the water, but uh, luckily found the wall, found a spot to put a torch, and made an air pocket. So we're all good. This is kind of a, not a great spot to be in. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, looks actually relatively safe. And we got a mine track here. Probably for now I'm just going to seal those guys down there. Grab a little bit of iron here and there. Say hi to the little snail. Snail was kind enough to alert us that there's a blue slime on its way. So far, a kind of bland um, minecart track. Come on, Mr. Worm, bring it on. Show me your best. Oh, I missed my opportunity. There we go. Threat eliminated. Interesting gap in the ground here, it makes me suspicious of boulder trap but there's not a not one up there got some torches now that looks like it might be a boulder trap <laughs> it's uh, so precariously perched right there that's funny got a life crystal defended by another boulder trap by the looks of it first life crystal let's go now we're invincible oh and it sounds like some crimson over there now do i have any bombs i do not have bombs yet it's a delicate balance of running fast enough to keep ahead of the slimes, but not so fast that you miss a uh, pressure plate and blow yourself up. Oh man, this is actually so close to to the hearts. Um, it's If I had like one or two bombs, I could get two of them right there. Maybe I'll just have to come back here uh, once I get some bombs. I also don't have like any weapon yet <laughs> besides my sh copper short sword. Oh, I know, I need to make a cactus sword at least. A superior one, I'll take it. Now I can, I can probably f defend myself against a blue slime now. I will just keep going down. Got a nice little landing platform in the middle here. Another one, it's like a, 
they're placed for me. Got a dart trap on the bottom left there. Don't hit that. It's actually interesting. I haven't found a single chest so far. Not even like a basic surface one. Oh, wow, that's a really interesting piece of background thing there. I don't know if I've seen that before. Not that I remember taking note of at least. Oh shoot, not get smacked up by the dang worm. It is a nice little silver deposit though. Oh wait, man. There's actually a trick that you can do though with these little explosive and detonator um, um, big mineral patches. If you uh, switch the detonator with the explosives, a lot of times you can you can blow up a lot more of the of the ore than it is originally placed like. So if I do that, it just leaves a little bit under the detonator here and put a little bit under the explosives. Maybe I'll just go down here. All right, got another life crystal. Excellent. And got kind of a lot of water here. I might just dig down a bit and see if I can find another cave. If you're under a giant pool of water and want to dig down, um, just put a couple blocks over your head and then keep digging. And then you can breathe in the air pocket that you create and only the six blocks of water that are on your character will actually be coming down with you. So you can easily dig down under big pools of water like that. Oh, you know what that background is. Glowing mushroom time. This is actually a chance for some big money chests and uh, life crystals. Let's see, I'm going to try and do this without jumping in the piranha pool. The classic dirt bridge. I don't actually know. Can I fight a cave bat with a cactus sword? It's a superior cactus sword, so definitely. A band of regen. A couple gravitation potions too. That's very good. And have I gotten any bombs yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, there we go, three bombs. Perfect, <clears throat> just what we needed. Oh wait, I have two dynamite. That would work to get to those uh, um, crimson hearts as well. Oh great, I let the bat in. Get out of here. You cannot face my superior cactus sword. Not in a million years. I might have to call it this spelunking mission pretty soon and get back to drop some loot off. However, it would be really nice to um, get get back by those crimson hearts and break those. I think I'm just gonna go right around here and grab this chest. Let's see, if I go back to spawn, I will have to get across the desert again. Maybe I'll try to work my way back through the cave and get up to buy those crimson hearts or something and then i can set up a spot or actually maybe i'll just honestly i could just set up a base here dash some stuff and i could get i could i have the material to get a bed set up here i'm pretty sure i have plenty of wood right well i have 170 wood not too much i think i'm just gonna go ahead and try to set up a little house right here i got a little bit of an area dug out here a bit of a flat spot items all over the floor because my inventory is still complete trash. Do I not have any stone? I have no stone, do I? Wait, it's gotta be in here. Am I, I actually don't have any stone? Oh my gosh, okay, I guess I'm not doing, not doing any stone bricks. Wait, I do have stone. Oh my goodness, the classic hiding spot. Oh, I can make a platinum pickaxe. Um, that's probably gonna be worth it. And how much is this full set of silver? It's only 60, so yeah, I should be able to make a full set, sweet. Let's just upgrade that. The silver armor is my favorite looking early game armor by far. It's one of my favorite looking armors in the game, really, but I've always, always really liked the look of it. Dang it, it's too small. Maybe what I can do is uh, make it bigger. How about that? 
How about that for a solution, eh? And there we go. That's 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 suitable now. Cool. Now I just need to figure out what to do with this bottom section. I have one extra platinum bar, so may as well make a candle, I guess. Kind of want a little bit more marble, actually. I got some glowing moss in the bottom left. Does everyone know what what type that is? The pink kind? I think I got enough marble here. See if I can make it back to the house. <laughs> I think that'll do it. I can finally escape and get back to the house. Doing like an actual let's play on hardcore is kind of uh, Maybe a bad idea, we'll see. I think I'm looking okay. I, I really don't have very much uh, stuff yet. It's kind of surprising. So we gotta make it back through the caves all the way up to here. And we have easy access to some crimson hearts. Okay, we're making it, we're making it. Red slime ahead, red slime ahead. I only got 20 more of these. I better stop screwing it up. All right, the undertaker and the Undertaker again. Kind of lame. I'm not gonna bother with the third one right at the moment. I don't know if that would be a great idea. I think I might just call it good here for now before I die. And then next episode I will try to get some more health, get some Hermes boots, and find those floating islands. I'm going to do a a song of the day. So every episode I'm gonna try to share a song that I like and that you might be interested in. Uh, checking out or maybe you already know it and don't like it or something but the song of today the first song of the day ever is by a flock of seagulls called i ran it's a fun song i enjoy it a lot and maybe you will too so check that out if you would and hope you have an awesome rest of your day and i'll see you later